Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I have my favorite neutral eyeshadows for you. Actually, someone had asked me a really, really long time ago what my favorite um, neutral eyeshadows from um, affordable neutral eyeshadows were. As you know, I don't really talk about high-end makeup on this channel, so um, all of the eyeshadows that I'm about to talk about are um, non-high-end and are drugstore or affordable um, lines. So basically, someone had asked me about it, and I kind of just wrote down in the comments like, oh, these are the eyeshadow palettes that I prefer, but I think it would be a better idea to make a video on this topic so my previous eyeshadow video which I just filmed recently I believe last weekend um, is my favorite fall eyeshadow palette so if you guys are interested in checking that out I will post the link down below um, underneath so you can check that out if you're someone who enjoys more colorful looks especially during the fall and winter time um, I know I do as you can tell in this video I clearly I am being so ironic with my look because I have brighter eyeshadow and darker lipstick on so um, yeah basically I have a couple of eyeshadow palettes in my collection and this is also a great way for me to see like what's in my collection so I'm not really going out and purchasing more eyeshadow palettes um, and I just love doing these videos you guys um, I'm not really new to YouTube but I feel like I've been out for a while so making videos over and over again has been a little bit exciting so I do have some studying to do and I don't want to keep the intro too long so let's just get started uh, with um, all of the eyeshadow palettes that I have in my collection which I think uh, would make um, good neutral palettes now towards the end I'm gonna show you guys some of the eyeshadow palettes which are not necessarily completely neutrals and they're a mixture of both like smoky and um, you know neutral uh, just because I feel like there are some shades in there which are more neutral so I kind of just wanted to include that because because um, some of them they do tend to have more neutral shades than like darker shades so let's just get started with um, the first eyeshadow palettes I have um, I have a lot of makeup revolution um, palettes you guys and the reason being I just find them really really affordable so you are gonna see a lot of makeup revolution they ship worldwide so I think it's fine to mention them in this video I just cannot um, cannot not mention them you know what I mean so um, let's just get started started with my first one and the first one that I have here is the redemption eyeshadow palette iconic one and um, this is obviously by Makeup Revolution, and this is the dupe for the Naked one, I believe. Yes, it is the dupe for the Naked one. The reason why I absolutely love this eyeshadow palette is that you have your different taupe colors, and then you have two different types of gold, and then like a slight dark purple and then a light pink and then if you want to create like a smoky look look as you can tell I've not really touched those very much but that being said I do like this uh, palette a lot you can probably tell that I have like a couple of dents on the lighter ones and this is like my go-to palette for work um, for my clinicals I just absolutely love it you know when you're going to the hospital you just don't want to look like super dramatic like I do right now um, so I think this is just a very good work appropriate slash you know everyday makeup palette that is fairly affordable I believe it's seven dollars in the US and in the UK it's even cheaper than that so I will highly recommend it this is definitely one of my top favorite eyeshadow palettes um, for not just for this year it's like for all time just because I've had that particular one for a um, while okay so the next two are they're gonna look a little bit similar but they're also from makeup revolution but I'll show you side to side um, the outer packaging they they look a little bit similar um, but let's just get started with the darker one first and the darker one is um, Death by chocolate so if you're more into you know 
cool tone um, eyeshadow palettes I think you would like this one and this is like I said a little bit darker so you can think of it as the dark chocolate and this one reminds me a little bit more of a milk chocolate palette so um, this is the death by chocolate and I will show you guys what it looks like I still have the name um, tag on it so one thing which Makeup Revolution has improved recently is that they have the names, actual names, down um, in the actual eyeshadow palette rather than having this um, sheet separately. But I just have that. I don't know why. Maybe because I haven't really used this one in a really long time. So this is a really nice cool tone eyeshadow palette. It does have some purples in it, which is not necessarily the most neutral, but I feel like the other eyeshadow pa eyeshadows in this palette um, do does give it a more of a neutral vibe. And I don't really, someone gifted this to me actually, so this was something that I wasn't really looking out for. It just kind of came to me by accident. Um, so you know i haven't really played with it that, that much but i still do think that you know with makeup revolution eyeshadows they're just so awesome and so affordable i thought i would mention that and the color just um gave me the vibe of a neutral palette um, the other eyeshadow palette um which is also a dupe for the chocolate bar the original chocolate bar palette by Too Faced is the i heart chocolate eyeshadow palette this is what this one looks like it is a very very similar or exactly it's actually an exact dupe it's an exact dupe i'm pretty sure because there's so many videos about this um and i don't have the Too faced like i said because it's all my channel is all about affordable makeup i don't even own any high-end makeup and even if i do usually someone just gives it to me i definitely like this eyeshadow palette um definitely something you know with the shimmers like i can use use that even without creating a look too so let me just do some quick swatches here for you guys just so you can see the pigmentation so that's a really nice gold and a really nice bronze color i do really like it and i do use it when i'm getting ready for clinicals or work or anything so i would highly recommend that one the chocolate and peaches palette now the reason why i'm mentioning this is because i know there are some people out there who want a little bit more of a colorful eyeshadow along with a major like neutral eyeshadow palette and i feel like this one would be a good one for those of you who want some colors in it as well if you minus this part of the eyeshadow uh, palette then all of these other colors you guys are fairly neutral so actually the peach palette that i have are is it called the, the b yeah the b b y s peach palette is a lot more peachier than this particular palette so i do like the fact that there are some colors in it um it's, it's a great travel palette for sure um if you want to like change up your look a little bit you know you have the option to do that so I do like it for that reason and that's why I decided to mention that one. Another palette which is in the similar category like you know it's not completely neutral but has mainly neutral shades is this again this one by um, Salvation Palette no sorry by Makeup Revolution again and it is their Salvation Palette Iconic Pro 1. This is a dupe for I can't remember the Lorac Pro I believe the first one and as you can tell like the shades from down here they are very very neutral so you can create a really good neutral shade only these couple are a little bit dark on the darker side so again this is one of those palettes where you can like play around and if you want to add a little bit of you know color to your neutral look you always have the option to do that so that's why i ended up including um the peach palette and then the salvation palette iconic pro one the other palette which is a little bit larger than the ones i showed you again this is one of those palettes you know um, which i think would be appropriate 
if you want more than neutrals you know and this one is the morphe um 25b mocha palette as you can tell some of these um eyeshadows down here they're not necessarily you know the most neutral but again if you keep going up all of these shimmer shades i think are neutral so i still think you can you know make a very neutral shade from this palette as well so second to last palette that I have here is by the brand W7. I discovered this at TJ Maxx, but it turns out that this is actually um, another UK brand. And um, you can find these, you guys, at TJ Maxx. Like, I'm pretty sure TJ, any TJ Maxx. I've seen W7 at a lot of TJ Maxx uh, Maxes and also um, other... TJ Maxx, Ross, I've seen them in those types of stores. Now this one, I definitely think is a full-on neutral palette. This is a dupe for the Naked 2. And it's like this tin type of packaging. Um, very unique. I do really like it. And it also has the shade names in the back. So that's really good. Whereas the Morphe one doesn't have that. Neither does any of the Revolution palettes that I showed you. Yeah, they don't have names, so I like this eyeshadow palette a lot as you can tell I've used it up quite a lot for my clinicals. This is like one of my top um, Go-to eyeshadow palettes. Yeah, and I did purchase this from TJ Maxx because and it was around seven dollars So I do really like it and I do think that um, you know, you can find any of these any of the shadows that I mentioned, they're all still available. So you should be able to find them. And, and my last one that I have here is this one by Beauty Gems. I don't... The reason why I included the, this the last is because I'm not quite sure if this is still available at Ulta. This was definitely an Ulta exclusive um, palette and... This came out last Christmas, and this shade, the shade range in this is definitely very, very neutral. Um, and that's why I wanted to include it in this video. It's a little bit powdery, but if you're wanting to work with it, I do think um, you can work with them. As you can tell, there is some fallout, but I don't have a problem blending them because an eyeshadow can be very, very pigmented, but when you're trying to apply them you know on your eyes sometimes they don't really blend that well like the one that i'm wearing today so i'm back with the modern renaissance dupe which is from bad habit and this is the eyeshadow palette that i'm wearing today and i kind of just want to talk a little bit about it um because it's not the most pigmented eyeshadow palette out there but i'm still able to build it up as you can tell you know this shade was it this shade no it was this yeah this shade that i have in my corner because i didn't want it to be super dramatic and i still was able to do it so just because an eyeshadow is very pigmented doesn't always mean that you know it's not you can't really build it up and i am one of those people who kind of just would like something which is a little bit buildable because um you know i'm not the best at eye makeup i'm still learning so i'm kind of in the learning phase and I would like it to blend a little bit more so anyways those were my favorite um, neutral eyeshadow palettes with the exception of this one this is definitely a more fall slash winter eyeshadow palette so I hope you like this video um, I know I'm doing a lot of videos recently um, I, I don't know what it is I just have gotten more into it lately so I will keep making it this year and I hope you have a great day and thanks so much for watching. <laughs> Bye.